IC which we use here is triple phi IC. Pin number 1 is connected to ground directly. Pin number 2 and 6 are shorted. Pin number 3 is taken as the output. Pin number 4 and 8 is shorted which is connected to plus B PC. Here the plus B PC is 5 volt. Pin number 5 is connected to a capacitor of 0.01 microfarad and then it is connected to ground. We have a resistor RA between pin number 7 and pin number 8. We have another resistor RB between pin number 7 and 6. The values of RA and RB have to be calculated. It depends upon the frequency and the duty cycle given. Suppose the frequency is 1.5 kHz and the duty cycle is 50 percent. So this will be equal to 0.27 milliseconds. We have formed the P of the circuit 0.693 into Rb into C. So Rb is equal to P of by 0.693 into C. The value of P of is 0.27 milliseconds. The value of the capacitor is 0.1.2 carats. The IC used here is triple phi IC. Place it on the breadboard. Pin number 1 is connected to common ground. Pin number 2 and 6 are shorted.
the number 4 and 8 are also shorted. Connect a capacitor of 0 0.01 microfarad to pin number 5. And then connect it to common ground. Connect a resistor that is RB 3.3 kilo ohm across 7 and pin number 2. Connect resistor RA 2.2 kilo ohm across 7 and pin number 4. Connect pin number A to plus VCC. Connect pin number 3 to output. Connect another capacitor 0 0.1 microfarad from pin number 6 to common ground. In this experiment, we used fixed regulated DC power supply. So, we will connect pin number 8 to plus 5 volts and common ground to ground terminal. The positive terminal of the CRO has to be connected to pin number 3. and the negative to common ground. So switch on the input supply and the CRO. We can see the square wave generated of the given frequency and duty cycle. As you can see the small lines here, each division corresponds to 0.2 units. Let us set the P on time on the axis. As you can see, it is approximately covering 4 boxes. So, you have to take it as 0.8 into the time per division value that is 0.5. So, the P on time will be 0.4 milliseconds. For the T of time, it is covering approximately 2 boxes. So, take it as 0.4 into time per division is 0.5. So, T of time will be 0.4 milliseconds. The total T on time will be 0.4 plus 0.2 that is 0.6 milliseconds. 